Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to still use the executors after the Bifron release on the UWP version of Roblox. Now, as always, I do suggest watching the video so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. So the very first method that you can use to still use executors on the Microsoft Store version of Roblox is to downgrade your current Roblox version. And to do that, you simply have to download the previous version of Roblox, which didn't have Bifron on it. So I'll be showing you how to do that in this video and let's get right into it. So the very first thing that you wanna do is of course, turn off your virus and threat protection. To do that, you need to come over here and go into virus and threat protection, go into manage settings and turn off the real-time protection at the top. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now you need to turn this off in order to actually download the program. So up next, you need to go into the description, which will take you to my website like this. There will be a download button over there. Go ahead and click that and that will take you to this page over here. From there, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download destination. So from there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop. Once you've got that installed, go ahead and double click it and that will open up the download manager for you. So there we go. From there, go ahead and click on next and it will give you some offers. It is completely up to you if you wish to take any of these. If not, then go ahead and click on decline, decline and decline. And once you do complete this, it will give you the final download destination. From there, go ahead and copy that, take it back to your browser, paste it, and that will give you the final download. From there, you can choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop once again, and that will contain the final download link. You can go ahead and copy that link, go back to your browser, and choose wherever you wish to download it once again. So I'm going to choose my desktop and that will give you the latest version of Roblox without the Bifront update. So from there, go ahead and double click that and it will open up the installer for you. And from there, go ahead and click on reinstall and click reinstall once again. And that might take a couple of seconds. I have already done it, so it, it was pretty much instant for you. It might take a couple of seconds. And once it does complete, you can close out of that. And now you can go back into your Microsoft Store and go ahead and open that up. I will go ahead and close everything else in the meantime. And at this point, you simply need an executor. Any executor will work as long as they are still working. So in my case, I'm going to be using Valleys. So let's go ahead and open that up. All right, there we go. I've got my Valleys executor open and we're also loaded into Roblox. And at this point, you can simply go ahead and click on attach. As you can see, in my case, it is already attached because I do have auto attach on somewhere in the settings. Yes, right there. So at this point, of course, you can simply go into any game of your choice and run any script that you want. So let's go ahead and try that out. All right, here we go. So we just loaded into a game and I've got a little script over here. Let's go ahead and execute that. And as you can see, the infinite yield does work with the admin commands perfectly fine. And there is your proof that you can currently still use the executors on Microsoft Store as long as you have downgraded your Roblox version. Another thing you can do is, of course, use the executors on Android. And I have shared some really good settings for BlueStacks in my previous videos, which will make your BlueStacks performance really well when you are playing Roblox on an emulator, for example. So, yeah, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I do suggest doing that. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.